Hi, this is the host of Tech Talk with Craig Peterson, heard weekly on Clear Channel Radio with another Tech Searchlight. Welcome back to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. We're on the floor of the Consumer Electronics Show and we're talking about some of the latest innovations that are out there. We're joined right now by a couple of companies here you've heard of before. We're going to be talking about Nexia Home Intelligence. This is a new smart home automation system that homeowners can manage from wherever you are in the world. And the whole idea here is to help with safety, comfort, efficiency, and pull it all together under one roof. So we have the industry leaders here. We're talking with Train and Schlage. Now, Schlage I've used in my house for years. They've got some great technology and been around a long time. Train, the same thing. Although I haven't used Train myself, they, we're going to talk about the HVAC and how that all ties in, which is the heating and air conditioning, of course, ventilation for our homes and, and our offices. Businesses use both of these quite a bit. So we're joined by Joyce Warrington and Lindsay Rose. Ladies, welcome to Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Thank you. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit about what's going on here. You guys both have great brands on your own and you've come together. What's Nexia doing? Nexia Home Intelligence is really a smart home automation technology, an interface per se, of connecting your lives together and every, and managing everything in your household from wherever you are, whether you're inside the house or remotely through a tablet or a smartphone. So whether you want to unlock your doors and know who is entering your home with an access code, are videotaping them on camera, turning on appliances or lights in your home from remotely, or even adjusting your temperature on your heating and air conditioning system and even managing you know, your heating and air conditioning energy usage on a monthly basis. And that's a huge chunk. I was shocked this year because my electric bill quite literally doubled. I, I have a high electric bill to begin with. It was $500 a month is my normal electric bill. And we had a $1,000 electric bill in the month of August. It's shocking how expensive it's gotten. And when you're not doing it very efficiently, how expensive it can be to really cool the air in the summer too. That's right. And if you're not aware, your heating and air conditioning usage in your home takes up 40 to 50 percent of all the energy that you use with lights and appliances taking up to 15 percent. So if you add those together, you know, that could be pretty tough on a monthly um, energy bill. So what we have done with the Nexia Home Intelligence is you now can help control the usage. So you also will be given tips on how you can manage uh, your heating and air conditioning by putting it on a scheduled program when you're not at home. You so can raise like or the lower setbacks, the temperature. Right. right. Um, if you forget to do it, you just pull out your smartphone or your tablet and you say, gee, I forgot. I want to lower it another two or three degrees. And it's amazing how much you can save over, over time with that. Sure, yeah, the heating bill in the winter and in the summer, the cooling bill. And the kids are get home early, you want to turn it up. You can do all of this stuff remotely without giving them the codes to kind of mess with the air conditioning and that heating. That is correct. That's right. <laughs> so, someone gets to control that. Now, Schlage's tie to this, you had mentioned uh, people coming in or out of the house. Of course, Schlage's been known for a long time for having some of the best locks in the world. So we've come a long way from just having the key in the lock in the door. Right. And what's really nice about Nexia is that you can monitor when your kids come and go. Um, you can let them in the house while you're not home and see that they've made it in the door. In fact, you can receive a text alert telling you that they've gotten home safely, um, giving you a little bit more peace of mind if you're out the office when they are arriving home after school. That's nice. There's so many latchkey kids, it's unavoidable, especially yeah, in this economy today. So you know when they're home. You can give them all codes now too, right? So you can, can you give temporary codes to someone that might need access to the house, maybe to do a little repair or something? Yes, you can. You can use temporary codes, um, give them to your contractors, your pet sitter, um, anybody who may just be temporarily entering your home, um, and then you can change those codes out as well. 
One of the other great things about that is if you do have uh, somebody who has a scheduled like a weekly or monthly, if you have a cleaning service like we said or a pet sitter, you can also set it on a schedule for those locks. So if they're supposed to be there between 10 and noon, um, then they can enter. If they come any time outside of that, then they're restricted. Now, you guys have added some new capacities and capabilities this year. You mentioned the video now. So can you monitor the house? Is this kind of like a security system? Uh, how does this work? Does it have intelligence built in? Yes, it has video capability. So we, we've had indoor video cameras, and now we are adding video storage to it as well. Later this year, we'll be introducing the outdoor uh, cameras because a lot of people want those, uh, you know, on their porches when 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 their uh, friends or neighbors approach, and it'll have a tilt uh, camera screen to that as well. And all of that then is uh, you can see in real time uh, when they enter the home. Yeah, what's going on? What's going on, particularly those teenagers sometimes when they're supposed to be doing their homework, you know, you've got Kids these days. watching them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, there's also, when it comes to security in a home, concerns about are all the windows closed? Can we turn on the alarm? What's the status of the house? So you guys have sensors for all of that now, too. Yes, we've added the uh, window and the door sensors um, that we'll be adding this year. Um, and in addition to other energy saving, um, we are uh, having like Pella windows will be helping us with monitoring and r raising and lowering shades, uh, blinds, excuse me, that, that come with Pella. And so, the, the sensors actually allow you to see when the windows are locked or unlocked or opened or closed, mm -hmm. which is a really nice oh, feature. Oh, even better, yeah. So you yes. know that they're locked, not just closed. Right. Now you have moved on here. Uh, to an, an you know a, a whole different world really from I think what we're used to where you've just got the the maybe a, a thermostat that's a little fancier that you can program to as you mentioned before kind of pushing this out to the cloud if you will yes where it can be controlled it can be monitored and everything no matter where you are in the world are are you going to be tying this into other things in the future here as the Nexia home intelligence continues to roll out Yes, that's the beauty of the Nexia Home Intelligence as being the overarching sort of, you know, kind of umbrella brand per se, is that it's got the capability to expand. Uh, we've got many um, ideas and products that we do want to add to it. So we'll be looking for those over the next year or so. All right, and where's the best place to go? I assume online we can check out train.com and schleg.com as well? Yep, um, and actually the best website for Nexia is nexiahome.com. All right, and that's spelled N-E-X-I-A, N-E-X-I-A, home.com, and train.com, and schlage.com. And for those that uh, might not know how to spell that, that's S-C-H-L-A-G-E. You can find Train and Schlage pretty much everywhere. Two phenomenal brands that have been around a long time to help with our homes here. And now the integration with the Nexia Home Intelligence, just, it, as I said, it moves it to a whole new level. Ladies, thanks for being with us. Thanks Thank for having us. Thank you very us. much. When we come back, of course, we're going to be talking a lot more about some of the newest technologies right here on Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Stick around. Thanks for watching another Tech Searchlight brought to you by Tech Talk with Craig Peterson. Visit us online at craigpeterson.com.